So to use Screencastify, the first thing you're gonna do, is just Google Screencastify, and it's the top link over here. This is made by Google, and it will only work in Google Chrome. So make sure you open it on Chrome. On the home page, it will tell you to add it to Chrome, and we need to do that in order to use it. It will take you to the screen, and it should say, add to Chrome, but I already have it, so it says that. After adding it, sign in, and it will ask you to sign in with a Google account. If you don't have one, you can create an account. Once you log in, go to My Subscription. Because of COVID, they are offering a free year of using it, so we are going to click the link that I'm going to send you in the email and redeem coupon so that the next billing date will be a year from now and you won't be charged. And the code is CAST COVID. Then you click Activate License and ignore the billing date. It will be waived. It's not going to bill you again because there's no credit card attached. Once your license is active, it should also show you that you have a subscription. You are ready to use it. And since we installed the add-on, it should be in the top right over here with this icon over here called Screencast. If we click this icon, it will open up this little thing that asks you, how would you like to record? You can choose to record your whole desktop, browser tab, webcam only. I like to do desktop with my microphone and the embedded webcam. Um, and then you have to make sure that you choose the microphone that you're going to use. I use my built-in one. If you want to use an external one, you can. And then I use my laptop's camera, or you can put a third-party uh, recorder if you need. Then you go ahead and you hit record, and it will ask you what would you like to record, your entire screen or a particular application. I like to do the whole screen. You can see I'm over here and the screen's over here. Or you can choose to do a single application window where you don't have to um, watch more than just the part that you see over here. And you can just record that particular application, which is my email. It'll beep three times and now it's recording the screen. As soon as the screen recording is done, you go ahead and you hit stop sharing. And then it's going to load and you'll have your recording over here. And at the top right, I just copy the shareable link and then send it out to the student. But if you want, you could also choose to publish it to YouTube, send it in an email, or even download it as a MP3 or just download, and then that way you can put it wherever you want. And that is how to use Screencast-O-Matic. There's even an editor that you have access to. I don't particularly use it, but by using it, um, you can do a couple of things like subtitling and cropping. And if you need to, you can modify the video and change it up to be a little more professional.